played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day. Rob's Arcade. Oh man. Uh, good morning guys. Welcome to Rob's. Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob French, as always. And uh, it's a beautiful like 67 degrees here in uh, Brandon, Florida. The first day of spring down here in Tampa. And uh, if you've been keeping up with me, uh, I've gotten a little um, more open in my, uh, my YouTube channel about myself and my struggles with alcohol and alcohol addiction and how I've been really, you know, I'm coming to terms with how long I've been dealing with it. And uh, I talked a little bit yesterday about, you know, finding uh, like self-love and uh, what self-love was and just kind of like um, realizing I didn't have it. You know, I've been watching a lot of uh, stories and interviews with people dealing with the same thing, you know, watching a lot of um, kind of like, you know, uh, podcast and, and stuff people who open up about you know addiction and alcohol and things of that nature and in one of the more recent ones I was watching um, just a few days ago you know they're talking about you know self-love and whether you have it or you know figuring it out um, they also talked about you know ways of fixing it but you know how to identify that you've been um, ignoring it for so long and I wanted today to talk about like, like like kind of finding yourself because they mentioned um, you know like self medicating you know you don't like yourself and so you tend to self medicate with alcohol or whatever you you know your vice is and uh, that leads you to not really deal with the overall issue you know it's you know so by, by trying to self-medicate myself with alcohol and try to take my mind off of things and not think about really what the issues were, were going on and just ignoring all of these things in my life uh, you know that that's when everything starts to spiral out of control it's like you can only ignore everything uh, for so long before you know it all just it, it all just basically uh, will fall apart. Let's go, Doe. Come on, Doe. So I'm watching the uh, this, you know, Michael Rosenbaum's Inside of You podcast, and this, this actor that he has on there, uh, you know, is talking about self love and self medicating, and you know uh, how if you're, you know, just drinking all the time, you're not really addressing your issues, and I'm like, wow, it's exactly. You know what I'm doing for sure but then they also mentioned that you know um, the hardest you know one of the hardest parts about it is you know like once you realize that and you stop and you want to stop uh, it's like you know all of you've been awakened and all of the things you've been pushing back you know come rushing right to the surface you know uh, like everything everything you've you know you've said you've done you haven't done you wish you had done um and then to um kind of complicate that you're not self-medicating so it's really hard because you're you know like last night i'm at home with my thoughts you know and that's what you know you have to like um You know, remember that you have to be like strong and not like cave in, and, and that's when it's it's easy. You know, I get off of work yesterday, um, just grabbed some food from Publix, got a little steak, had some potatoes here, got myself a nice dinner. Just kind of hung out with my dog for a little bit. You know, watching TV, watching an old movie I hadn't seen in God eons, probably like 30 years. And uh, just really, you know, try to take it easy. But, you know, that's, those are the nights where, like, yeah, like, typically I would get off of work, you know, cruise by the liquor store, grab a little bottle of something, 
and uh, especially with my, my wife, you know, she's uh, hanging out with her aunt this weekend, uh, Marlene, you know, she spends uh, quite a little bit of time over there, <clears throat> and uh, we kind of, I think at this point, maybe need just a little space for both of us to just kind of like maybe clear our heads a little bit. But, you know, typically, yeah, she's at her cousin's and hanging out, playing airsoft or, you know, staying at Marlene's, watching the dogs or whatever. And I have the place to myself. So like, yeah, that's not, you know, I'll cruise by uh, the, the liquor store, grab a little something after work or whatever. Uh, and that's just, you know, part of what I'm used to. And... It's kind of like, oh man, like, you know, it's silly as it sounds like, oh man, now I kind of I, I want to drink more than ever, man. Like, you know, God, like what, but you need have to remember, like, no, that's what leads to like the lack of self-discipline, the procrastination, you know, all of these things you take issue with, you know, because there are other underlying issues to myself, you know, just aside from like the alcohol, you know, inhibition and uh, the lack you know, of that drive, to really get out there and achieve something and if you keep putting that barrier in the way it's just you know it doesn't uh it doesn't end really so it's kind of um interesting kind of like you know uh just kind of finding who you are um and, and what you're dealing with once you start to kind of chisel away some of your you know, just even outer, outer issues, but like not even getting to the core of some of the stuff that, you know, I might have to deal with later on. But, uh, when you start just to kind of chisel away some of the outside, um, and kind of get to like, you know, what's underneath, I guess, uh, you kind of start to see, like I said, who you are and what you've been doing really, not really like, you know, who you are per se as like um, a person, but like who you are in terms of like what you've been doing with yourself. And um, you know, if you had to like, you know, add all this up into existence, like what would that really be? What would that really be worth? Um, and not to be like, you know, hard on oneself, because a lot of people keep telling me too, oh, I mean, don't be too hard on yourself, dude. You know, don't be too hard on yourself. But it's kind of like, you know, fuck that. Like you gotta be, somewhat tough on yourself you know it's like if you're just kind of like going through life like ah, whatever it's cool you know it's no big deal you know sure you know drinking problems no big deal it's like you know whatever it's like no I'm like no it's like it is a big deal you know when you ignore when you ignore uh really what you're supposed to be doing for years and years years then yeah it's an issue you got to be a little hard on yourself and like you know bodybuilders don't get huge and athletes don't win championships by taking it easy on themselves you know they push themselves to be better to be the best they can you know I don't think anybody on the sideline is telling them I mean you know you shouldn't you shouldn't push yourself so hard to win a championship dude no, they're saying you should go harder go, go tougher But anyway, guys, I'm about to go grab me a shower, start my day, take the dog for a little walk here. I just want to hit base with you guys. But like a, you know, I'd like to see that comment section light up a little bit, maybe. Hit me a thumbs up, you know, for some support. Go grab me some breakfast. Get my butt to work for a little bit. Make sure you share this. You never know. And uh, please subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your Sunday, guys. And enjoy the first day of spring, man. It's freaking beautiful. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.